This map shows how the spice route connected the east to the west, with the ancient Indian ports playing a key role, being the focus, being the pivot, being the fulcrum of all of this. There was Muziris, a major point in the route, which lay in present-day Kerala. Historians have found that 31 countries in Europe, Asia and the Far East had a spice trade with ancient Kerala, including Afghanistan, Burma, China, but also Denmark, Egypt, Jordan, Lebanon, Malaysia, Mozambique, the Netherlands, Oman, Portugal, Spain, all of these countries were linked with ancient India. Another important port in ancient India was Kamara in what is now Tamil Nadu. Further up, there was Barigaza, what is now called Bharuj, and Barbaricum near present-day Karachi, which of course is in Pakistan. And there was a big tug of war between the Arabs and the Europeans to later control this trade because of how valuable it was. So as ancient India and the ancient world moved to the medieval times and towards the modern times, these linkages, these trade points continued to become important. That entire tussle between the Muslim world and the Europeans which we saw in the 17th century or the 18th century was again linked with these trade routes. Now, the launching of the IMEC has, of course, been compared to China's Belt and Road Initiative, which itself has been compared to the historical Silk Road. But remember, many have argued that the Silk Road, the Silk Route that we keep hearing about, was nothing but a pale shadow of the Spice Route in ancient times.